Well, good morning, Friday morning, uh, Daily Bread. Hey, listen, uh, Merry Christmas to all of you guys from uh, me, my family, our ministry, and my family, families, families, <laughs> all the way behind us, all right, all the way to uh, the birth of ourselves in the Lord Jesus Christ in this world. Uh, we want to congratulate you guys for uh, living the good life that you're living, uh, for staying in faith, and for seeking the Lord God with all your heart and uh, celebrating the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't let people, you know, put you down uh, because you got a tree up or you got lights up. You know, they put all the stuff up they want every day in the world, and uh, they advertise what they live for every day. You know, and we came out of that, so we know how that is. And now we have light to celebrate. Daddy God is the Father of all lights. You and I have become light because of Him. We are born by His Spirit now. So don't allow people to put you down. You celebrate the Lord Jesus Christ and you enjoy Him, all right? And do that. Worship Him in spirit and in truth as we've been talking about this week. Today we're going to talk about uh, the fruit of the Spirit. And again, these are the attributes, the produce of the tree of life uh, that we're talking about. And the Holy Spirit is sanctifying us with, the, with these attributes so that Every day we worship the Lord God in some form uh, to Daddy God, who's a priority of our worship. And then to other people, we show that we worship the Lord God by our service, our devotion, these actions that we take every day. You know, last Sunday, uh, we, uh, we had this free market, not flea market, free market thing with kids. Uh, we bought all these toys. Uh, they looked like Toys R Us store in our family ministry center last week. And, and people came in, and they received those toys absolutely free for their kids. You know, people had went on you know, went on our site, you know, signed up for to be there, get the kids, get the toys and whatever. And people came in, and they and they and some people wept about being able to receive, you know, uh, from and and didn't have for Christmas, or were able now to be able to to be a partaker of that goodness that we present it to them that Sunday, okay? And, and again, this is, again, this fruit of the Spirit that I'm talking about today, the goodness of Almighty God. This goodness, right, again, a, an act of devotion that we are representing Daddy God. And when we do that, we're actually worshiping the Lord God because it's the same thing that the Lord God would do. He's working through us to do these things. As Jesus said, I don't do anything except what I see my Father do. Well, this is what goodness does for us. It helps us to see what Daddy God would do. And in turn, we are worshiping God. We are devoting uh, toward Him uh, the same attribute that He's given toward us, this goodness, you know. And so we saw people cry, you know, that received gifts from, 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 from the ministry. And the people in the ministry bought these things so that, you know, we could be a presentation. This is what we always talk about doing, being a presentation of the Lord God to our community. And so when you operate in goodness, and we, I'm going to look at some of the, the scriptures here through the word, goodness is one of those things that just absolutely stand out, that it will actually cause people to repent, all right? It says this, in the book of Proverbs, chapter 12, verse 2, verse 2, the good obtain favor from the Lord, the good, all right, obtain favor from the Lord, okay? And that's you. This is why we're talking to you, so that you can always walk in the blessings of, of the Most High, so that you can always be crowned, okay, uh, with the, the, the wells of salvation flowing out of you to always bring forth fruitfulness to your life and everything that you're doing, all right? It says this in Ecclesiastics chapter 3, all right, verse 12 and 13. It says, I know that there's nothing better for them than to rejoice and enjoy the good life. It is also the gift of God, whenever anyone eats, drinks, and enjoys all his efforts. This is talking about the goodness of God to us. That even when we eat, drink, and we enjoy life, all right, it is a form of our personal worship back to God because God's goodness is coming out of us to cause us to live like this. And then we bring honor and glory back to the Lord God for him giving us these things that we enjoy, okay? We look over, and here's another scripture over in the book of Galatians. So we must not get tired of doing good. All right. This is Galatians 6, verse 9 through 10. For we should not get tired of doing good. All right. So don't ever get tired of doing good. Okay. 
For we will reap at the proper time if we don't give up. So when you constantly give, all right, when you're constantly doing good, all right, you, you are a representation of the Lord God. And again, this attribute, you're worshiping Daddy God with your goodness toward other people. He's looking at you like you're doing the same thing that I would be doing, all right? You're honoring him. This is a, an act of devotion, okay, that's coming back, all right, because you now have the sanctification inside of you that you just can't help but be good. You're going to do some good, you know? I see people come, you know, sometimes uh, kids delivering stuff here from, from different organizations, and my wife will pull out, and, you know, she said, did you have lunch today? And they'll say, no, we haven't eaten lunch. And she'll pull out $20 and give them, say, buy your lunch today. This is buy your lunch this morning. You know, you got to eat today. You know, they, they don't turn it down. They'll be going like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, uh, you know I've seen us pull out as much as $50 and give to somebody. Well, enjoy Christmas. This is your Christmas gift from us. And do you think they're going to give that $50 back? No, they're not. They go like, well, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate this. Appreciate that. Well, all that is is an act of devotion. The same thing that God would give, do. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And he gave. Okay. And he gave. And in return, we thanked him. Okay. Well, now he teaches us how to be just like he is. Okay. And so when we go through these things about goodness, you know, it's, it's that way. He says, there, therefore, and I'm in the same scripture in Galatians, he says, for we will reap at the proper time if we don't give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, all right, we must work for the good of all. All right? That's, that's right. Just because they're sinners don't mean that you don't treat them good. But they don't go to church, they live like this. That don't mean that you don't treat them good. The goodness of God can cause them to repent. Not you in their face with a whole bunch of scriptures all the time or tell them how bad they are or whatever, but just the goodness of God, just being good to people can give God a handle into that person's life, okay? And at the same time, what are you doing? You're honoring God. You have a, you have a devotion toward God. God's good. I'm good. And you're showing the Lord God that you're just like he is, okay? And it says this, especially for those who belong to the household of faith. Okay, so we are to do good for them and we are to especially do good to those who, who are right there in the congregation with us. Now, I've seen some reversal of this stuff. I've seen people in the world, people in the congregation treat people in the world better than they treat people right in the congregation with us. And that's a no-no, all right? But again, we're talking about the goodness of God. And then he says this in 3 John chapter, 3 John verse 11. He says this, dear friends, do not imitate what is evil but what is good. The one who does good is of God. Hey, that's what we've been talking about all week. The one who does good is of God, and the one who does evil has not seen God, all right? And so these scriptures bear witness to you and I that the fruit of the Spirit, this act of devotion that we do toward God and the sanctification that we're going through, again, the greatest power in the kingdom is the power to become. We're becoming love. We're becoming peace and joy. We're becoming the goodness of God, the kindness of God. We're becoming these things of God every day as the Holy Spirit is operating through us. And we're fulfilling what Jesus said, the Father seeketh such to worship him in spirit and in truth. True worshipers are going to worship God in spirit and in truth. So I pray that this week, as you've gone through these things, that everything that you're doing this week will be an act of worship toward the Lord God with these things on your mind, thinking about everywhere you are and whatever you're doing and how you handle yourself, that you're representing God and God is working in you to represent himself and his kingdom wherever you might be. Enjoy Christmas. Enjoy people, your family. Enjoy your friends and do good to even your enemies this week in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ as you represent the Most High God. God bless you. We thank you for this time this week. It's been a joy speaking to you these short moments, but it's called Daily Bread for a reason, right? <laughs> Amen. We'll see you Monday morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Have a great weekend.